Rick, how am I looking? You're looking bad. That's an antique watch. What would you give me for that? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Right. Pawnbroker with a heart is a pawnbroker out of business. Now, how does a pawn thing work? How does it work? I bring in something to pawn. Okay, I loan you, uh, I loan you money. Okay. okay. Okay, you got 120 days to pick it up. Okay. And pay me my money back plus 10% a month. So it's a loan? Yeah. I still own it? You still own it. For 120 days. Who is this over here? This is Mark. This Mark. is the night guy. Mark, how you doing? Oh, just great. How long have you been working here? Uh, I've been working here for six years. Six years? In the business for years and years and years. Now, Rick, what is Mark doing here? Someone's coming up wanting to pawn something. Now, this happens all night. And how much are you trying to come up all with? All night, 24-7. had a customer bring a bunch of doorknobs that uh, oh. I guess someone traded him some goods for and told him they were gold, golden <laughs> doorknobs. Mmm. What did we just get there, Rick? VCR. Uh, Ten, VCR. Bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. <laughs> you don't see this on the Antique Roadshow, all right? This is real haggling. Aren't you going to miss the VCR, though? Oh, no, I'll get it by the next paycheck on Friday. You sure? Yeah. OK. Well, that's good, because, you know, a lot of good movies are coming out. You might want to rent them. No, no, I got a DVD, dude. Oh, OK. See, he's covered. That's good. This what is, is that? It's a $175,000 watch. I got this one guy who's really well off, and just every once in a while, he just needs a little extra cash. What's the weirdest thing someone's ever put in this window here? I've had a guy try to pull his wife's false teeth out. Oh. She wouldn't give them up. Good. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't have taken them anyway. Um. Come on. You wouldn't have. You heartless pricks. Now, this stuff out in the showroom is stuff that's off pond. They never, they never bother to come back and pick it up. OK, so this stuff you can come in and, and buy yourself. Look at this. I mean, this is my, you know, this is one of my little treasures that I'll never sell. This is what a port some girl would get a for a wedding night. It's like an instruction manual. Oh, like a Kama Sutra. Well, it tells a story, evidently. Um, they went to a Benihana's and things went <laughs> a little out of hand there. Look at that. Mm. It's... What is that? A uh, bunch of Nazi stuff. Oh, there's nothing sadder than a broke Nazi. <laughs> mm. No money for schnitzels and zig heiling. I know some guys at home thinking, hey, that's my jacket. I'm just trying it on, OK? It's journalism. Even a bike's here. Look, a, a genie lamp. Do you, do you see the irony? Huh? Wish it? No. Duh. Are you drunk? This is the back rooms. You know, this is where everybody pawns all their stuff. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Now, I've seen a lot of crazy things being pawned, but crutches, come on already, all right? You've got a gambling problem, all right? <laughs> that is a saddle. A saddle. Yes, so a saddle. So some broke cowboy came in here and said, I'm going to bear back it out? Yep. Every single year when the uh, National Final Rodeos come to town, I get five or six saddles. Man, what don't you have in here? What won't you take? If I can't sell, I won't take it. How about a kidney? <laughs> if I had a market. <laughs> if you had a market. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, I got to go. Thanks for showing me around the store. Can I get a picture? Yeah. Sure. OK. All right. Take it easy.